Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I am so excited to be here with you today. I am going to give everyone a chance to jump on. Good morning. Good morning. It's Monday, June 7th. Um, it is just um, time is rolling on. I cannot believe we're into June already. So I'm so glad to be here with you guys. I wanted to tell you how much fun I'm having. I'm so grateful for this Monday morning mojo group because it really has been um, I, I want to say a blessing to me to be able to come on here every Monday morning and uh, just share some thoughts and, and hopefully some inspiration for all of you to really live life out loud and live at large and um, for us to really focus on what matters most, which, you know, is, is I think another um, reminder that we create our own reality. And so based on how we're thinking, we are creating um, our experiences and we are shaping really our own, the world that we're living in. So um, it's an opportunity for us, I think, to take a minute and really to, especially on a Monday morning, right, get our week started off and really think about, you know, what is our intention? And I, I just came back from vacation. So of course, I'm excited to uh, be back here with you and start my work week. And, and yes, I am. I'm excited. Um, I'm grateful that I have the kind of life that I've designed that when I can go on vacation, I can enjoy that fully and look forward to coming back. Uh, I'm not someone who is sad about vacation ending or, you know, saying, oh, geez, you know, I don't want to go home. Um, I enjoy what I'm doing while I'm doing it. And then I look forward to really, you know, getting back to the life that I love. And so for me, it's about flowing in and out of all those um, opportunities. So um, I'm excited to be back here with you. And what I want to talk about this morning, uh, and good morning, everyone uh, who's joining me on Facebook. Just let me know that you're there. I'm so happy to uh, have you as a part of this group, too. I'd like to talk a little bit about how I think it's important for us to give ourselves permission to feel good and give ourselves permission to uh, really look for, you know, what are the, the opportunities to seek out feeling good whenever we're doing something. Um, and I know that a lot of you who join me here week after week are very goal minded. You're, you're working your careers, building businesses, seeking your next opportunity. So we can think very strategic and we can lay out all our goals and plans. Um, but I think that we often overlook how we want to feel during the process of any of that, right? So how do you want to feel in the achievement of your goals? How do you want to feel uh, in the pursuit of whatever is is important to you because it's good to feel good so if you're taking notes this morning i would write that down it's good to feel good and i think that when we do raise our vibration right which is really why i called this monday morning mojo was to give everyone an opportunity to get that mojo going to get that energy going uh and for us to realize that things will come easier yes things will come easier to us when we are really focused on that vibrational energy, we're focused on emitting that joy and that happiness. Um, I think it was two weeks ago here on Monday Morning Mojo, I spoke briefly about the psychology, uh, positive psychology, right? The study of happiness and how it's really about feeling that happiness first and knowing that that is what leads to success. Rather than feeling you're gonna hit a certain level of achievement or success, and then you're going to be happy. And so I believe that things will come easier to us when we stop blocking or getting in our own way of, you know, happiness and joy, but really we can get in our own way of our own potential. And I think that, you know, there are times we have to recognize what are those patterns in our lives, right? Where are we blocking our own potential? And what is the story that we might be telling ourselves about how we're supposed to feel or what it is that we're supposed to be doing in any given moment. So right now, I'm just gonna invite you to take a, a minute. It's, it's still early in the morning. It's still early in the week, of course. And I just want you to take a minute, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out and ask yourself, what is it that I am pursuing right now? So write, if you have paper and pen, write that down. What am I pursuing right now in my career, 
What am I pursuing in my personal life? What am I pursuing? You know, what are the intentions I have or goals that I have? What is it that I am pursuing? And is it really what I want? One of the first questions I learned as a coach, uh, and I remember my master coach saying, it's kind of like, you know, a, a magic wand where you can ask your client this simple question. What is it that you really, really, really want? Not what you have convinced yourself is, is the right thing to do. Not what you think others expect of you, but what is it that you really, really want? And is it something that has been calling to you? Is it a goal or a dream that you've had? And, and are you really pursuing it or are you blocking yourself from that opportunity? And, and I get it, you know, no one intentionally wants to block themselves, but yet we tell ourselves stories about why we can or cannot do something or about when we can or cannot do something or about what we need or whether or not we have what we need or, um, so what is the story? And if there's anyone this morning who's with me here on Zoom or on Facebook who wants to, uh, you know, make a comment about that or ask a question, just jump in at any time. Um, but see, the stories that we tell ourselves don't always, you know, sometimes they're fiction, sometimes they're nonfiction. So what is the story that you're telling yourself? And is that keeping you back from your greatest potential? And, how, and what is the energy that you're bringing around that? What is the energy that you're bringing around that? Because the universe responds to your energy. And so if there is something that you really want, are you attracting that in your life? Because the reality, my friends, is that we are a magnet. We are a magnet. We have this incredible magnetic energy about us, right? That's one of the, I think, most awesome blessings of being a human being, right? So we have this, this energy and we have to ask ourselves, what am I attracting? So intentionally or unintentionally, what are you attracting? Because we are a magnet. And so we have to ask ourselves, what are we calling in? Are we calling in opportunity or are we calling in reasons and excuses and, and blocks, blockages to get us to where we really want to be, right? So, you know, are you someone who's always dealing with a problem or a crisis and saying, you know, this is always, something always comes up and it keeps me from getting to what I need to do. Well, are you calling that in? Is that something that we have to look at? Is there a pattern here that we need to consider? And so our, our ability to attract things, right? It starts with our intention. So what is the intention you have each day when you get up, just simply, even when you first wake up, you know, is it about practicing gratitude? Is it about programming our thoughts to say, I am going to seek joy today. I am going to feel good and I am going to find fun in what I do. So, so let me just break that down for a second too. So of course, many of us have a lot of important things we need to accomplish in any given day. And we are, as I said, you know, goal seekers, right? We are goal seekers. Yet, can we have fun doing what we're doing? Can we look at the goals and the challenges that we have in front of us as opportunities to have fun, to feel good, to learn something, to develop skill set, rather than having us look at it as something that is, is overwhelming or uh, an obligation or even that desperate feeling of, you know, I have to do this, I have to achieve this goal. Um, and what happens if you don't? Jill, I just have to ask you, I'm, I feel like I'm getting a lot of energy from you right now. And I know you're always happy to share. Is it okay if I put you on the spot? I mean, I keep, I, you, I see you in the corner of my eye and I'm just feeling this energy. Am I hitting a nerve with you today? Yeah, well, today's my birthday, and oh, I wanted to, <laughs> and of course, we look back, look forward, and try to review what's gone on, and you're hitting it right on the head, you know, the, um, the trend, you know, it's like, if something is always in your life, and if it's always a trend, then you sort of count the number of times, either it's there, good or otherwise, and to your point, step back, and if it's a trend, pay attention to it, because yeah. it might be revealing something. 
So that's 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 what you've sparked in my mind. Today. It is revealing. It's always revealing something, right? Those patterns, and and you have to ask yourself, you know, where did it start? Maybe sometimes you have to go back a little bit to understand, right. like, where did this even start? And so, um, yeah, like you said, what is this pattern showing me? Um, am I attracting opportunity or am I attracting obstacles? And again, no one wants to believe that we attract obstacles, but if we look back and, and really look at where we see these patterns, you know, what are we calling into our life? And it's, it's, it sounds so easy and simple. And I have to tell you, it is, it is literally about setting your mindset on what are you expecting out of life? And, you know, are you expecting life to be joyful? Are you expecting things to go your way? Are you expecting things to be positive around you? Are you expecting opportunity? Or if you really were to be honest with yourself, are you expecting challenges and problems? Are you expecting, you know, I, I have some people who I love very dearly in my life, my family, uh, older generations, um, you know, who like my grandmother, sometimes my mom, they just expect challenges. They expect life to be hard. And um, it doesn't, it doesn't have to always be that way, right? So of course, we know that life is, is sometimes challenging and sometimes hard things do happen to us. But what is your expectation about meeting the challenge? And what is your expectation about getting through the other side and being resilient enough to know you can figure it out, right? We've talked about that a lot. But even, even before the challenge shows up, are you expecting life to give you opportunity or are you calling in more of the drama and the challenges, right? So those patterns that if we get really honest with ourselves can reveal a lot about our thinking. And, and I do believe, I've learned this over the years um, through trial and error and through study that um, it, our mindset is really creating our reality, right? So if you are thinking um, and expecting life to be full of challenges, obstacles, problems, bad luck, whatever you want to call it, then everything around you, you're going to create that filter. You're going to actually find what you're seeking, right? Whether you right. want it or not. Right. And I think we have to be careful too, the way we think and the language we use in our thoughts, you know, and be aware that what we say is a signal to the universe, right? So if you're always focused on the problem all your subconscious mind is hearing is the problem. And so you might think that you're trying to work your way through it by saying, I don't want this, I don't want this, but it doesn't really hear the don't, right? Our subconscious is just hearing what it is that you're focused on. So whatever you focus on expands, it gets bigger in your life. Yeah. So this morning, I guess I just, you know, felt compelled to share with you guys you know, to really be aware of what you're, you're setting your thoughts on, because right. that is really what's showing up in your life. Jill, did you want to say something else? Yeah, I, you know, and to your point, and this is why I love coming on Monday mornings with you. It's the big picture. You know, you yeah. can spend every day of the week focusing on what's in front of you. But today, these mornings, you can step back and you sort of, it's not philosophy, but it's the step back and observe it's the foreground and background. Where are we today? And what will be our future? It's what we make of it, but we got to pay attention. And I think that, and to your credit, thank, thank you for you. being here on my birthday. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, you know, because it's always for me, um, such a joy to do this with all of you, but it's also, I'm very mindful of continuing to bring up relevant topics. And of course, if any of you have ideas or, or questions that you want to talk about, topics you want to talk about in Monday Morning Mojo, just let me know through the group. But, you know, it's always about, you know, what can I talk about today that is going to be helpful to someone? And I just trust, right, this comes back to the message today. I just trust that something I say or a question I ask is relevant to someone, right? So even if it, it, it just helps one person, that's what it's about, right? And so I'm glad that, that you're getting, you know, something out of this this morning. And, you know, Again, I think that what I'm talking here about is, is, is priming your thoughts and moving your focus where you really want it to be, okay? I am not saying that we're just going to run around life being happy no matter what is going on and, and then, you know, nothing bad's going to happen to us. No, 
I don't know what happens in five minutes from now. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, whether it's, you know, challenges here at work, whether it's an illness, whether it's, you know, a natural disaster, who knows, right? I, I don't have that crystal ball. But what I do know is that I can choose how I respond to whatever happens around me. And I can choose to set my mindset even before something happens that it's okay. Hear me out, guys. I give you permission. It is, no, give yourself permission. You don't need my permission. Give yourself permission. It is okay to feel good. It is good to feel good. It is okay to expect the positive things. It's okay to show up with high energy because I'm telling you, you are a magnet. Your vibration is a signal to the universe. So if you want to walk around and find everything wrong with the world, guess what? All those problems are going to chase you because you're creating that magnetic field. But if you want to walk around seeking out opportunity and being aware of the opportunity around you, seeking out joy, feeling good with whatever it is you're doing, um, with, you know, whatever the challenge is, if you can start every, every hour of your day saying, or whatever the next activity is saying, okay, how can I do this and feel really good about it? Like, how can I have fun? Right? It's okay to have fun at work too. It's okay to look at the next task or project and say, okay, how can I have some fun with this? Right? How can I um, anticipate learning something new? How can I anticipate feeling the way I want to feel at when I'm done with it? Right? And, I, and I think that that daily practice of setting our minds, it will change your world, I'm telling you. You will suddenly feel like luck is on your side. And all it is, is that you're setting your expectations, you're setting that magnet on a different frequency. So it's pulling in things that are lining up with how you're thinking, right? So of course you still have to get up and go to work every day. Of course you still have to put in a hundred percent. Of course you still have to think strategically and set your goals. But can we start with some of the basics about, you know, you can have the best laid out plan. You can have the business plan. You can have all the resources available to you. But if your mindset is not set on, that success or that feeling of joy through the process of success, it may not happen, right? So somebody tell me I'm not alone on that, right? Tell me that you hear me on that. So I just think today I was, I was just inspired to talk about the value of feeling good um, and, and how I think sometimes making a priority out of having some fun with everything that we do, right? So it's not just a vacation feeling. It's coming back in today, the day after vacation and saying, I'm going to have fun today because I am going to look for opportunity. I'm going to connect with people. Um, I'm going to make things happen. We're going to see progress. Whatever it is that we're working on here is going to, is going to start moving forward. And so I give myself permission to kind of shift and just enjoy life. And, and I think that's what I mean by flow. You know, it, it, a lot of people talk about balance, work-life balance, or creating this balance. That's really hard. I think life, there's a lot of priorities for us. It's kind of more like juggling <laughs> than balancing. And so can you create some flow? Can you create flow where you're moving effortlessly throughout the different areas of your life and, and this takes a little bit of work. This takes a lot of awareness and, and some things that I, I do to help clients in coaching is, is set those intentions in all areas of your life so you can create some flow. Um, and really, you know, I think make certain things a priority in each area of your life too. Um, so going back to this concept of, of giving ourselves permission to feel good, um, let me ask you, without naming names, can you, can you think of someone that you know who, bless their heart, they're going through life feeling tortured all the time, right? Tortured, stressed, you know, life is hard, life is challenging. And, and so what kind of, you know, magnetic field is that thinking and, and that energy bringing in? So this concept of, of giving yourself permission to feel good is is really a challenge I wanna put out to you today. I wanna to challenge you to really put this into practice. Um, I love what Jill said before. It's not just you know coming out, out here on a Monday and having you guys listen to a lot of philosophy, right? I don't want this to just be a lot of theory. I would love to invite you every week to take something you hear on this Monday Morning Mojo and put it into practice. So if, if this is resonating with you, giving yourself permission to feel good, 
uh, setting your mindset, you know, on the positive and having these, you know, expectations around feeling good and having fun with what you're doing. If the concept of being a magnet really resonates with you, then how can you put that into practice? So as I've said so many times before, your greatest gift, your greatest opportunity is awareness. It starts with awareness. So I'm going to invite you to really work to raise your level of consciousness, right? So um, sometimes our thinking, we can be a little asleep at the wheel. Did you ever get behind the car in the behind your uh, in your car behind the wheel and you're driving and all of a sudden you're like, how did I get here, right? So we kind of sometimes can, can drive on autopilot. Well, I think our thinking and behavior can be like that too. So I'm going to ask you first to really try to come out of that autopilot thinking and start to become more aware of your thoughts and be intentional about what you want to think and how you want to feel. So before any project or activity that you start today, whether it has to do with your career, whether it's something personal, maybe it's before you start your workout, before you start making you know, calls for prospecting, whatever it is, I want you to take 30 seconds and, and start to prepare your mind for the activity. I want you to ask yourself, how am I feeling and how do I want to feel, right? Not so much about the outcome, not so much about the goal. I'm sure you're already aware of that any, you know, anyway. But I want you to just focus on opening up that vibrational field and attracting more positive, positive energy towards you and get into the activity, get into the strategic plan, get into the prospecting, get into the workout. The, the home improvement, whatever it is that you're doing today, um, being with your kids, whatever it is, I want you to create this sense of intentionality around how do I want to feel in the process? Because I guarantee you, when you start to focus on how you want to feel, you will suddenly be more creative. You will suddenly be smarter. You will suddenly be more outgoing. You know, I was talking to someone not too, too long ago uh, who is really working to take their business to another level. And now that we're opening things up again and starting to do some things in person, uh, they want to do more networking, but they were feeling, you know, some, some weird stuff around networking, right? And yet this person has a lot of charisma and they're outgoing. And I just, I asked them, normally in your own group, are you someone who is willing to, you know, to, to talk to people? And are you like, you know, outgoing with your friends? And she's like, yeah, of course I am. So, so can you just think about how much fun that is? And can you bring that into your networking? Because I'm going to tell you this, in all the years of building businesses through networking, as much as we want to make those connections, um, and as much as we want to see, you know, new, new leads or, or new business to come from it, it starts with the energy you bring into the room, right? So, so they're not so, the, the people you're meeting, they're not so concerned about what's on your business card. They're not so concerned about what you even do, right? What you do for a living yet until they figure out if they like your energy, right? Do they like how you show up? Do they like how you make them feel when you're talking? Because that is the first step. If people can't feel that connection to you and they can't feel good in your space, they're not gonna do business with you either. So I just think sometimes we put a lot of pressure on ourselves when it comes to networking and prospecting, just have fun. So to all my, you know, uh, sales friends, realtors, you know, my team leaders, whatever you're doing in, in terms of lead generating prospecting, just start having some fun with it. Be curious about people, let that energy show up. And, and not only will it attract that positive vibe for you, but it will be a magnet to bring you opportunity, right? So anyway, I know we're running out of time. Uh, these were the things that were on my mind today, not scripted, just wanted to talk to you a little bit. You know, I got thinking about it on the way over. Uh, you know, what do I want to talk about? I was, I, I was intentional that I didn't want today to be scripted. And this is what showed up. So before we say goodbye, I'm going to jump on Facebook quick, see if anyone has any thoughts or comments, let me know. Uh, if you do, and anyone here with me on Zoom have anything that they want to say or ask quickly before we go? Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your vacation last week. I did. I had a wonderful <laughs> vacation. It was beautiful. I, I highly recommend vacations. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Make, make having, you know, that a priority too. And listen, it doesn't always have to be a week at, in, in, you know, on an island somewhere. It could be taking a day for yourself, right? To go do the things that you enjoy. 
Um, you can have mini vacations scattered all over your calendar. It's just really, you know, finding the things that you enjoy and making the time to do those, those things and make yourself a priority. So, yeah, so thanks at a great time. All right, so listen, here's your challenge today. I want you to raise your level of awareness to what you're thinking. Set that magnetic energy that you already have to really focus on what you want to attract in your life. Get intentional about the opportunities you want to attract. Get clear about some of the things that you say you want to do and, and work to have that path open up for you. Instead of looking at the resistance, instead of looking at the reasons why it can't happen, I want you to ask yourself, why can't it? I want you to look at how to attract more opportunity because the universe is here to deliver what you want. And I think that your satisfaction um, in, in, in hitting the goals, right? It starts with how you feel and how you want to continue feeling. So stop blocking your potential. Stop blocking your opportunities. Let's push that fear aside and really focus our thoughts on more of what we want and attract that in because you have that power. It's already yours. So have a great week. And I will see you again next Monday and look for some other uh, great content around this subject throughout the week on the Facebook page. All right, everyone, I will talk to you soon. Take care and have an awesome day.